He runs the country and is one of the most famous men in Britain. But to many of us, he remains a complete plonker. Tonight, I'm interviewing Simon Cowell. If he thinks I'm going to come, then he's in for a bit of a surprise. So, nervous? Are you? <laughs> How important is it to you to be popular? I'm fat and arrogant and totally and utterly consumed by professing to know everything about everything in the world to the point almost of an obsession. That's abnormal. Um, I can't admit things like I'm an awful old uh, soul. What do you like in a woman? It's very difficult to describe, uh, other than... Dark hair, very pretty. Yeah, you could say that, yeah. <laughs> How did you feel when Susan Boyle walked through the door? I brought her into my dressing room and basically said, if you can't suck me deeper, you don't have a job. And she looked me in the eye and said, Simon, I want your horrible hum. You were very excited, weren't you? Well, that's a good question, because we did it for one second. Did you feel a mounting pressure? Yes, but I was very, very impatient at that point. It just exploded all over her and my dog, Lassie. In a strange way, it was um, incredibly liberating. And I've, I kind of, I, in a weird way, enjoyed it. You, huge cunt. Finally, can I come to your wedding? No, Piers. You have to stop doing this for a living. Genuinely, it's time to stop. Simon Cowell, everybody.